of a good scene. Have yourself well, attach, a, attach a trough. Right. Right. Oink your fat ass down the street and get a fucking burger from what, Wendy's. Is our is our does our friend our our overweight friend feed right? I mean, when he goes to the Chinese buffet with Tupperware in a in a bag, he literally like people bring their briefcase to work. He brings his to go bag. Right. With him to, like, the Chinese buffet. Yeah, you know what? He's a perfect example of somebody who feed rights. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner, he's having a dinner. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner, he's having Thanksgiving. So if you're going right. to feed, feed right. So he celebrates Chris Mahana Kwanzaa. Chris Mahana Kwanzaa. Yep. So so he could have all of the meals together. So he's having, you know, you know, figgy pie and Fig- he's yep. mixing it in with gefilte fish. Loves and, a little matzah. Right, and has goat and all kinds of different things. He mixes everything all together and does it, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? I mean, he's always told me that he was definitely a bad boy. Yeah, I have nothing to say. (laughs) Nothing? (laughs) Nothing. Okay, fuck it. (laughs) Here's the unemployment choo-choo. All right, Jeff. uh, Concluding this week's chew, there are a couple things that I wanted to get to, and it involves the Snapchat. So do you remember a couple days ago we were talking about how it was man meat, and then I I put so many MSGs into our friend that... um, Unfortunately, uh, she she went back to the husband. Yeah, it was probably the nagging heartburn from you know right. from the food that you were feeding her all the time. Um, Not enough Prilosec. Said, right, she said she liked something, and uh, you just continued to plow her mouth <laughs> with uh, three thousand grams of uh, milligrams of sodium per day. Well, what can I say? When you love someone, you feed them sodium. You know. Yeah, nothing like a month supply. <laughs> in a day and uh well i don't think she found that discussion too funny i just got a snapchat and there's a reason i'm getting to this because i i do want to expand into something else with snapchat with one of our former listeners i got a snapchat from her that said what the fuck not thrilled with the um assertions made that uh, i was man meat Mm. So um, she's she's not thrilled with this. Not thrilled. Not thrilled. As a matter of fact, um, pretty upset. Um, so, so, so adamant what, what that I was then? not. So what, no, what go, were you then? Well, that's the thing. Adamant that I was not man meat. Now listen. According to that situation, uh, you know I was uh, somebody who was liked. Uh, dare I even say adored at some point but then with the whole up and moving and how the craziness of our lives with this business is and the fact that there was a child involved and that you know you can't put a kid through all that I think she just you know what it is at first you are the man me but then you become like the turd that won't flush you know (laughs) And you try to, well, no, well, no, I don't. No, I don't. What do you mean? It's, a, it's a meaning that, like, you know, you just keep, you keep at her, you keep at her, and then she feels bad, and then she comes back, and she's trying to get out. So you you're saying at first I was man meat, but then I became pity ass. Right, and then it's, okay. just, and then it's that damn turd that just keeps coming back for more. You know what I mean? You ever see the Seinfeld episode? It's like a uh, stanza, you know? Right, 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 yeah. right. And, and, you know, and it's like, you know, the D's. <laughs> and she's like, all right, I'll come back. So she, you know, she's popping in, you know, once. It used to be two or three times a week for the pop in. Yeah. And then yeah. it became once every three weeks because you guilt her. Right. Pity and just make her feel bad. So, so you um, think I was, I went from man meat to pity ass? You, yes, yes, yes. So, so now you're, you're old pity ass. <laughs> 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 so she's, you know, so she's got to come. All right, I'll come over, man. This kid's gonna, you know, wait, jump off a cliff here. You know, he's gonna jump off a sleeping bear dune. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I go from man meat to pity ass, and hey, all the, ass. <laughs> and all the while, while this pity ass was going on, MSGs are swelling her feet, and she's unable to perform <laughs> basic functions. Right, 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 right. She needs a friggin' angioplasty when she gets done. When she gets done with you, all because of some Marie Callender's roast beef. 
Yeah, it's like it's like drinking a gallon of soy sauce every day with you. <laughs> so, so the poppins become less frequent, and you think I go from man meat to pity ass. Old pity ass. Okay. Old pity ass. So, so right. not even good, just old pity ass. Uh, so she figured she'd come over. Her husband's pissing her off one time. Let me. All right, let me snap old pity ass. Because <laughs> <laughs> he won't leave me alone. And then you hit him with the snap. All right, she'll come by. And then when she came by, it, and you're you know you're in the room and you're trying to clean up. All right. So you're sprinkling everything in your room to just make it making it, it smell better. good, yeah. Whatever it is, it's I don't know what the hell you're sprinkling, friggin' Febreze, baby, baby powder, Mrs. Dash, <laughs> right? Well, yeah, right. You're, you're, you're trying to clean this thing up, okay? So she comes to you know lay on your mattress that's on the floor, <laughs> and, you know, and you just watch her enter, and it's like this just the look of despair, and she <sighs> she comes in. Yeah. You know, she's slipping off the shoes. <laughs> you know, it's you know, it's like being. You're you know, and then like, she would hang out with Teddy more than me. Right. You know, it's like being a friggin' iron worker. You know, <laughs> and you're you're in a union, and it's like I gotta come, I gotta come. All right, let me knock this one out. Uh, no pity ass. Here, here comes old pity ass. All right, you're right. So here she comes. She's I get the shoes off. <laughs> I guess I can yeah. stomach another Marie Callender's today. All right, and it's just you know, it's like. It's like the walk of shame, but her walk of shame was into your bedroom, not out of it. (laughs) So she she sits in, and the door just slowly closes. And she dies a little inside. It's just just a piece of her every day. It's just dying, and you're sitting there trying to be sexy. (laughs) With whatever, you know, thawed out meat you're shoving in her gullet this time. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> she's just trying to just she's just trying to get it over with old pity ass just get the fuck out of your place just let me go <laughs> and, and, and it's so funny you hear the door closing you know we're on the second floor and man I can hear those feet down those steps <laughs> she, she did go down them steps fast and then she was like, she I, she couldn't deal with old pity ass, so she had to move down south. <laughs> when, she would, when she would leave, she'd burn and fucking rob her through the bushes. <laughs> she was like fucking Jeff Gordon. <laughs> just, to, just to get away from old pity ass. <laughs> oh my god, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 and all of it's true. All of it's true. Oh my god. Oh. Old pity. She can't, she can't lie to that one. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Just the slow walk when she would slide the shoes off. Hey. <laughs> hey. What's up? Oh, hey, Teddy! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Well, you know, what can you do, man? I mean, you know, now I'd rather be man meat than old pity ass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that sucks. Who wants to be old pity ass? Yeah. I don't know. Who wants to be any of it? Who knows? Unemployment. Choo-choo.